So hi, my name is Ashley with the Nocturnal. So congrats on Sterling in this room. Um, from the horror to just the person. How fun was it to be able to play with um, the horror dynamic and the psychological thriller aspects of this You know, horror is kind of new to me as an actor um, and I was like, oh, I got this. Like, I'm more of a tragedian, (laughs) Um, more of a dramatic actress um, and a comedic actress. So I was like, you know, horror is a new genre. But I, uh, and I was like, I got this. And I I was actually quite um, traumatized by working on it in a really wonderful way. It really affected me. Um, which was really special and helpful in terms of all the psychological aspects. Um, so so um, what do you hope to do next after this? Do you think you do more horror after? I'd love to do this? more horror. I'd love to do more horror. Um, I'm working on House of the Dragon at the moment, which is um, much more fantasy. But uh, I love, I like genre a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Cool. And thanks for seeing Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So it's great to see you again. Oh, nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, that producer talk was really great. Um, as a fellow producer, it's great to witness. <laughs> so um, over the course of filming um, this movie, I know you have two premiering in Tri- Tribeca. So first off, how is that? Uh, having two premieres is crazy because it's like having two of your children running around, needing your support, like you're giving birth to two baby films at the same time. Um, but I feel so lucky because like Tribeca is such a wonderful audience so to launch two movies here is like a dream in my city. <laughs> And so for this film, were there any setbacks um, over the course of filming, maybe with COVID or anything? That you- oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're a very tiny budget, so you're fighting every step of the way. Um, funny enough, we had a false COVID shutdown, or we thought everybody had COVID, and then it turned out no one had COVID, so that was like a funny disruption. Um, but, you know, we were shooting in the freezing cold in the middle of Ithaca, so it was like this crazy environment that created challenges but ultimately like bonded all of us so beautifully in making the movie. That's amazing to hear. Yeah. And I love that it's a predominantly like female and non-binary cast. It seems like true as well. So yes. how important was that as a producer? Oh, it's so important. Yeah. Like, you know, we have to make sure that everyone feels safe and that they're not being discriminated against. Um, oh, it's so important for me to me to like bring together women and diverse groups of people and tell stories from voices that are generally marginalized. I think one of the things that made me excited about the movie is that Stuart wanted to subvert all of these sort of horror, sort of horror tropes that we're used to. So by casting women and not minor, like it just allowed all of her ideas and philosophy about horror to really like shine. And lastly, what are some of the central themes you hope? Um, are able to like relate to the audience? Ah, it's a great question. Um, you know, the movie deals a lot with motherhood and generations of women and dealing with our mothers. So I hope that I don't know. I hope it unlocks something for people in whatever their own trauma is. I think the best horror comes out of like universal experiences in everyday life. So um, I just hope people really respond to the thing we're trying to bring. You know. Well, thank you so much, and congrats on both of your films. Thank you. Thank you. Can you just walk us through your character in the film? That was sure. Sort of um, so I play Maddie. Should I look at you? Sure. Okay. So I play Maddie in Bad Things. Maddie is kind of like a consequence of a lot of toxic relationships. And they just really want love. And they really want Cal to love them. They really want Cal to love them. And they really just want the chance to get to be in love. But they end up in this like sorted, sorted tale. Yeah. So, um, and how was the, so you, um, you were, how, how was it important, was it to have non-binary, um, to have, like, a non-binary person in the film? Um, I think that was just really great, and something that isn't seen in every film these days, so how important was that representation for you? Um, it was really important for me to get to be myself in some ways, you know, in this movie by getting to play a non-binary character and getting to bring my full self and for other non-binary youth and trans youth to get to see someone like me, um, you know, in the movie and get to see me up there in all my fabulousness. <laughs>
awesome. You look great. And thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. Could you just walk us through uh, how Fran is in this film? Like what, um, kind of what Fran's journey is throughout the course of the film? Um, yeah, I think that, um, I think, uh, <laughs> um, Fran's journey is one of, I think, she's kind of like an angel, I think, like a weird angel from hell, but still an angel, and um, I think it's like that of like love, you know, she falls in love, I think, with Ruthie, and um, it's, I don't know if I would call it an arc so much as like a spiral, <laughs> but yeah. Um, how fun was the special effects aspect to it all? Um, like the gore, and it's your first time like being in horror? Um, not, no, but I love horror, and so it's always fun. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Awesome. And um, lastly, uh, what do you hope viewers take away from the film? Uh, for like what you hope um, kind of what you envision the, the film to like come out after this like when they finish watching the film what do you hope that they get out of it oh I don't know I hope it means something different for everyone yeah. you know? so, yeah. thank you thank you so much so you're the director of the film can you walk us through what your vision was originally and how that sort of changed throughout production I wanted to make a movie that really showed the power of the and in a very exaggerated, hyperetic way. And, um, and I think when I first pictured the film, there was a lot more animosity between all the friends that arrived. But with these actors that I had, these powerhouses, they just brought these crazy personalities and qualities and their own take on it. And they just kind of took it and went into this whole other place. So do you initially have the idea for the film, or was it the collaboration between you and the screenwriter? Well, I am the screenwriter of it. I wrote and directed um, Bad Things. And the way it kind of came to me is a story. You know, I always start from some place that's really personal. And then it becomes political as I tell the story. So I was really interested in finding the space so where one could so why not easy and explore and all to their different exam. emotions, uh, especially rage, because I'm a great person. Yeah. And I'll be... Oh, oh sorry. I'll say that again. Okay. <laughs> and being that it's a primarily female and non-binary cast, how important was that to just have a like female collaboration and all of that with part of it? my actors or just not everybody? Yeah. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've always just written for women. It's almost like I have this worldview that just includes women and non-binary people. So it was very natural for me to create this world. Um, but I also feel like it's really important to kind of step into that world and force people's gaze away from what we're forced to see over time. And um, what do you hope viewers take away from the film? I hope that they have a different perspective and they're like forced to see something through my eyes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.